so you can do if possible uh, anyway you are in the uh, your own village or own uh, place you can do in the evening or whatever it may be whenever it has the time you can observe clearly nearby any small river to river or forest or grassland hill or mountain whatever it may be depends on easy access and importance easy access in the sense you can easily go and then visit and observe and then importance of that particular place if that is a good grassland beautiful grassland or hill a small hill to or mountain if it is under degraded position you has to observe and then you you can give the inputs i can report based on your observations and then understanding about various aspects of environment here various aspects what are the producers what are the utility what is going on is there any threats threats is there from which side threats are going on everything you has to observe this is one of the i mean field experience is most effective learning tool for environmental concern not only now so if you can create i mean uh, uh, field experience field observation you can i mean you will be plant in your life every day 10 minutes or 5 minutes or whatever it may be whenever you have that time observation regarding environment there is good habit in future uh, you may observe lot of things you can good assess you have the good assess then from the not only environmental aspects as well as health aspects too if it is going on degraded what it has to do how can uh, we can reduce that degradation of that particular ecosystem what are the effect of that particular um, community of that ecosystem what effects will go goes on everything if you can observe in your as well as you were like your day to day uh, uh, plan that is very good achievement of the some time to you you can observe interpret discover the surroundings and enabling them to learn by understanding and also coordinating with each others with coordinating in the sense while you are interacting with that local community local people i mean uh, if this is going like this that is i mean uh, uh, environment is harm uh, then with that uh, we only human being only face the problem like that we has to reduce such such kind of activities we has to i mean decrease these kind of activities and then we has to like that you you can interact with local community uh, you can aware them um, then you can compromise from that threatens to and then i mean positive attitudes everything uh, that you can get good coordinative skills the coordinative skills commanding skills commanding in the sense not only um, boss bossism uh, if you have particular idea about the particular topic you can coordinate easily this is useful to you in your future job future positions too that is very very important then this is, if you are studying your local area Yeah, whatever it may be small river small um i mean lake a forest grassland a hill a mountain whatever it may be first thing this is study is broadly divided into two parts one is the documenting what you see what you are observing presently another one is the findings from the local community lo local residents local people um with the different age gap if you can interact with 10 to 20 years people they can give some kind of in inputs if you can interact with 20 to 40 years age people age group they can give some kind of inputs 
if you can interact with 40 to 60 or 70 or about i mean old people they can do good inputs to you regarding previous uh, importance of that particular site that particular local area hence even though while interacting the local people all the people may not give same inputs to you different people give different inputs to you different ways of inputs that's why you have to um, categorize the people as per age age groups um, 10 to 20 years 20 to 40 years uh, 50 uh, 40 to 60 years 60, even though 60 to 80 years like that their attitude is different at the same time their perception is different on that particular river or on that particular forest on that particular grassland what they observed on that day olden days that is different what is the present position is different everything you can see then what are the aim and objectives so what are the ecosystem assets or resources from that particular ecosystem what are the resources are benefited from the local community what are the assets getting enjoying due to recreation are getting as a food food items vegetables or other uh, forest items honey everything many things i mean cattle rearing of who are using these what way many people are using utilizing this ecosystem this particular ecosystem is it sustainable or unsustainable suppose one small forest area if we are observing what will happen if sustainably they are managing the forest that is good some local people if sustainably they will manage even though i mean even if they are cattle rearing every day they can protect their forest land for next year next year for future generations too they can utilize uh, up to such a uh, certain extent only not completely they may not degrade even though in summer areas some i uh, mean in summer season uh, uh, that particular forest area any uh, forest fires may occur uh, they are involving a lot uh, to prevent that forest fires because if in the summer forest fires will come in the forest area what will happen i mean small shrubs small plants will be completely vanished next year they may not get um, uh, for their proper cattle rearing or for whatever it may be for next year utilizes hence um, some village community they are sustainably utilize their resources even though if it is going on unsustainable direction you has to educate them if we are continuously utilizing misusing what will happen for your future purpose you may not get all these things like it you has to educate is the ecosystem is good in condition or degraded if community is going on and then cattle rearing is going on and then it is degraded canopy lost i mean due to cattle rearing or whatever it may be for their uses day to day uses timber extraction cutting of uh, for fuel wood tree cutting up trees for fuel wood whatever it may be it will be degraded that degradation up to what extent up to in good condition i mean up to such extent is okay but degradation uh, is every year degradation is going on and hence there is no forest after some time so after five years let's say ten years there is no large plants uh, there is no shrubs too for the cattle rearing everything i mean for their wild foods wild vegetables also they may not get properly continuously if canopy will be lost what will happen next year they may not go uh, small uh, shrubs and then everything whenever any season comes that's why they has to protect conserve their local area how can be how 
can it be conserved or protected? So up to some extent, if we are going on, even though if we are using fiber, day to day purpose, living purpose, you has to conserve it. You has to uh, protect it, that particular land, that particular area, that particular hill or hill slope or mountain, whatever it may be. Forest. But otherwise, up to some things, only dry land, I mean, desert land will be observed. That's why you, I mean, that local community has to take initial step and then major steps to conserve that particular ecosystem. These are the major aim and objectives. Methodologies. What are the methodologies? Then, first thing is the observation of the ecosystem. How is there? I mean, uh, we discussed in the, I mean, what are the producers, if it's degraded or not, only in consumers, how much extent is there, what is the population, like that we have to observe that particular ecosystem. Then questioning or interacting of local people and the sustainable use of resources, you have to uh, interact, uh, interpret the local people, uh, what are the resources you are using, up to what extent you are using. Uh, suppose one plant is giving, a uh, large plant is giving, um, good fruits, fruits um, for the, I mean, edible fruits, eatable fruits. Uh, whatever for that, I mean, uh, it may be very tall plant. What they will do? They may not go up to that uh, plant and then they may not take uh, that fruits. Simply they are cutting the plant or uh, branches of the plant. Uh, they can easily uh, took that. That is, uh, I mean, unsustainable use. If you can use that fruits as well as that is good. Cutting of branches or cutting up tree and then using fruits, what about next year? Regarding that fruits, that is the unsustainable use. Like that you have to educate the people. And then continuously if you are, they are cutting down and then they are cutting down. Up to sometimes they may not get proper uh, that fruits and then everything which are easily enjoying and then um, without cost, simply freely they are enjoying. And then everything you have to give the, I mean, the, in the good direction. Observation on levels of resource uses, which are the found during the field work, and then what um, in, inputs you are getting from the local people, everything you have to discuss. Then finding specific concerns relevant to the study site sustainable utilization as discussed with local people. If it is degrading, how it will be, how the extent it is degraded. If continuously it is degrading, what will happen? You have to discuss and then educate the things. Um, then what is the visiting place? Visiting place may be agricultural land or hill slope or uh, lake, mountain, whatever it may be. What is the background data? What is the importance of that uh, particular area? What are the geographical positions, lot line positions you can take from US uh, GPS uh, in your mobile? Everything, but what are the biotic and then abiotic components, producers, consumers, um, decomposers are major, which are the endangered which are endemic species are present at that particular area you have to uh, list out what are the plants birds animal community are going i mean surrounding you are observing what is the characteristics of the flora and fauna you are observing which season they are going which season they are uh, breeding which season they are giving the fruits which season they are flowering everything you have to observe and then you have to or otherwise you have to uh, took the inputs from the local community, which are endemic or which are endangered. If any species is um, threatened or endangered, you have to conserve, you have to give the, um, you have to explain the importance of that particular um, species. If it is endangered, you have to conserve like that. What are the uses and then importance, cost, I mean, tangible and then intangible benefits. And then everything you have to clearly discuss with them, enumerate them, aware that people, 
regarding all these things up to i mean their knowledge they also change up to change their attitude towards positive direction regarding their local community local ecosystem so what are the effects of human beings what are the human impacts on that everything you has to clearly observe and then document the local important asset local local important ecosystem this is very very important otherwise conservation may not possible if nobody is taking decision nobody is initiating uh, to conserve the local um, ecosystems who will take the I mean if you are the local people if you are the local um, i mean environment environmental student you you may not educate the local people who will come to you who will come educate what is the meaning of that you are studying here everything you has to educate regarding your local asset that is very very important here importance of this is the importance of